Hi there. Now for part B here, we're told that the cadet fires 20 shots from a distance of X meters. And we've got to find the nearest integer then, the value of X if the cadet has an 80% chance of hitting the target at least once. So what I'm going to be doing then is taking a random variable, let's say we define x as being the random variable, the number of hits. And we know that x will be distributed as a binomial distribution. n would be 20, because the cadet fires 20 shots. But we don't know what p is. All that we know is that there's an 80% chance of hitting the target at least once. So what I'm going to be looking at is from here, this distribution, the probability that x is greater than or equal to 1, we know it's going to be equal to 80%, 0.8. So from this, using the binomial probability distribution here, we should be able to work out what p is. Once I've got p, I can substitute this into our formula here, where d equals x, rearrange it and solve it for x. So that's essentially the method. So carrying on then from here, probability x is greater than or equal to 1. It's better than if we just say, therefore, 1 minus the probability of x equaling 0. That will equal 0 0.8. So clearly, the probability that x equals 0 must be equal to 0 0.2. And how do we work out the probability x equals 0? Well, that's going to be all failures, 20 failures, 20 times where we miss the target. And the probability of failure is going to be 1 minus p. So we've got 1 minus p. That's going to be repeated 20 times over. And that's going to equal 0 0.2. OK, so from here, we can solve it for p just by taking the 20th root of 0 0.2. So therefore, we've got 1 minus p would be equal to 0 0.2 to the power 1 20th, the 20th root then. Now, if you use your calculator and work out what the 20th root of 0 0.2 is, you should find you get 0 0.9226 and so on. OK, so rearranging that for P, therefore P turns out to be 0 0.0773 and so on. So now we've got that, we can substitute this into the formula here for when D equals X. So when D equals X, what we've got then is, and we'll just come down here, when D equals X, we've got 0 0.0773 for P equals 3 over 200, okay, multiplied by 90 minus X. So rearranging this by multiplying by 200, dividing by 3, that will leave me with 90 minus X, and then adding x to both sides, subtracting 90, gives me this for x. x equals 90 minus 200 over 3 times 0 0.0773 and so on. OK, and you should find if you work that out, you get 84.84 and so on. Now we're asked to give it to the nearest integer, so that's going to be 85 the nearest integer. Just put that in there. So I hope that's given you some idea then how to go about that one if it caused any problems.